Welcome back to the channel guys. It's your boy Aylin and we're back today with another video man. Yo, so look man, I was supposed to film this video yesterday when I got the shoes. When the hell did I get these shoes? Wednesday when I got the shoes, that was yesterday. Tuesday when I got the shoes, but your boy ain't have a haircut. So I was waiting for my barber to get back to get a haircut. Um, and yeah, that didn't happen. So we're just gonna film the video today. But anyways, we're back with another sneaker review for the channel, man. Your boy is back. Um, we're back, man. So make sure y'all tune into the channel. Make sure y'all leave a like on the video and comment down below what else y'all want to see. And if you aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. Anyways, we got a review today. Nike Dunk Low. Um, Nike Dunk Low has been Nike Dunk Lows have been going crazy this year. Everybody wants a pair. I feel like the hype is getting too OD. And is it a cool sneaker? It is a cool sneaker, but nobody was really wearing dunks like that, man. Well, I mean, I got, I had like some dunks that I didn't wear, and I just ended up selling them for the high. You know what I mean? But yeah. Anyways, um, I did pick up some pairs this year. We have uh the box right here. Shout out to my boy Angel, Angel Santa. Um, <laughs> my boy met him a couple years ago. Now he's like one of my best friends. He assisted me this pair. He was like, yo, it's eight and a half. Go do a review on it. Do what you got to do, gang. I was like, all right, bet. So, yeah, basically told y'all the size. This is the Nike Dunk Low NY versus NY. If y'all know, your boy is from NY. So, NY versus NY is like a basketball game or tournament that goes on. It's just like different parts of New York playing each other, mainly in New York City. And it happens sometimes at Gersh Park in Brooklyn. Sometimes it happens at Dykeman and the Bronx, not Dykeman's not in the Bronx, in like Upper Manhattan. But yeah, y'all get the gist of it. Uh, so yeah, going into the tag um, and the box. The box is a regular dunk box. It's just the uh, Nike with the orange box, Nike on different size. Nothing too spectacular that um, has to do with the collab. But yeah, as you guys could tell, the size tag on these is an eight and a half, um, women's size 10, and it reads Nike Dunk low se color code is dutch green slash multicolor and white retail on this pair was 110 dollars because it is an se they got some special like detail special edition i guess that's what that's what se stands for i don't know but yeah man going into the unboxing we're just flipping open the box you guys have the gray paper right here and just flipping open the gray paper we have the dunks man so on first glance, y'all let me know how y'all feel about them, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. Um, the sunlight's getting down, so the camera's trying to do its best to like focus on me and the shoe. But yeah, man, here is the shoe. You guys have a good look at it. I'm gonna drop you guys a little B-roll, and um, yeah, we're gonna go to that. Bang! All right, so coming back from the B-roll, we're gonna quickly break down the colorway and give y'all the full review of the sneaker, man. As y'all can tell, the colorway on these um is white, orange, and this green. Um, basically white going around the toe, around the lace holes, and in this back heel area. Then you have the green on the toe box, the mid panels on the lateral side and the medial side. And then you have also the green going around like the heel area to the back. Then the tongue is also green, so we can't forget to mention that, with orange being on the Nike swoosh and the Nike stitch in the back with um, Nike on the tongue as well with a uh, white Nike. Um, I've got to tell you guys, the sock liner is in white the insole is in this like orange or like bright crimson colorway it's, it's it's more like bright crimson it's not it's not orange the nike swoosh is in um orange though and then the midsole is in white with the outsole being in this clear icy blue oh uh, we do have to touch on the details uh on the bottom it says watson versus dykeman versus uh lincoln park west fourth gush park so yeah, basically just, um, and I think that's, I 
can't even read what that is. But yeah, just basically the biggest parks in New York, as you guys can see right there. Um, I know Grace is in Brooklyn. Dykeman, like I said, Upper Westchester, uh, Upper Westchester, Upper Manhattan, West Fourth, Legendary West Fourth, Lower East Side, basically, I think, right? Lower, Lower West Side, because it's West Fourth. I'm an idiot. I'm not even from New York, man. I'm just a fraud. But anyways, that pretty much breaks down the colorway. Uh, as for materials on these, they did use a little bit different material. They use like a tumble leather on the toe box, or going around the toe and a tumble leather on the heel portion of the sneaker. So basically in white, they use a tumble leather. Then they use the regular dunk leather on the toe box and uh, mid panels, which is in green. This um, orange swoosh is in like this, uh, uh, what type? it's like a plastic material, but you know a plastic material that you could make that sound when you scratch it, so listen. That sound? Yeah, that's basically what it has. And we can't forget the NY versus NY uh, stitching right here and uh heel well focus man boom yeah so yeah basically that's all the materials everything else is basically the same as a dunk um the tongue is a little different with it being in this mesh and then yeah that's basically it and then the outsole is in this you know rubber icy outsole now as for sizing on these i would suggest going um a half size down on all dunks i go a half size down just because they fit like spacious and they're kind of long so i always recommend people go half size down but make sure you try on um a pair before you know you do go half size down because some people i know well two people i know like my friends they actually go true to size and it fits them perfectly they don't have to go half size down but i do recommend going half size down on these as for comfort on dunks they are comfortable just because they're light but there's no really technology in there to bring it to the next level of comfort so i'll probably just give it like a six or seven out of ten comfort just because there's no technology but it is a very light sneaker now since this is an eight and a half i'm gonna give you guys a little on feet um i'm probably just gonna throw on some nike tech with these and then just give you a quick little on feet and then we're gonna come back wrap things up with the resale prediction and my final opinion on these man so let's cut to the on feet So coming back for the resale predictions on these, I was surprised that uh, resale on these was like so high because it's not a great looking sneaker in my opinion. Um, I'm already doing my opinion in there, but it is a fire concept, especially if you from New York, you feel me? Um, so it is a fire concept, but not a fantastic looking shoe in my opinion. But resale on these is like 300 for men's sizes, which is kind of like ridiculous. Like um, the last dunk that was going crazy like that was the unc's but yeah man 300 on these will they go up uh, i personally don't think that they're gonna go up much i think like 300 to 350 range on these should be a good solid price it might even dip a little but they are kind of limited so yeah it should stay around that range and yeah do i suggest you hold on to them or sell them uh you go you could be safe with selling them you're not gonna make too much if you just keep on holding to, on to them but yeah, man, that, that's like my resale prediction on these, but you're making a pretty penny. Retail 110 after tax like 120 and they're going for like 300. That's that's a pretty penny, man. Now to wrap things up with my final opinion. Uh, Yeah, cool concept on the sneaker, especially, like I said, being from New York. But is it my cup of tea? I probably will have to pass on these. These aren't really like my style, but the orange is popping on the swoosh though. I do have to say like the orange is popping out at you. That makes it pretty pretty fire i'm not gonna lie to you but yeah um i'll probably pass on these just because i have some dunks now and i don't even really wear those um to be honest but yeah that pretty much wraps up this video y'all let me know if y'all had um any luck on hitting on these or y'all opinions on the shoe man but it's your boy a lynn i'm checking out y'all make sure y'all stay safe and stay swaggy and we're gonna be back tomorrow with another video man we out